got the Diablo Sport Tuner right here. It's the iTune 3. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this tuner. Especially when it comes to controlling some things about your engine. For example, this vehicle from the factory has a top speed governor of 100 miles an hour or just slightly under 100 miles an hour starts cutting off on you. Well, the good thing here is this little tuner, I can turn off the speed governor. So if you're on the dyno and you want to dyno fourth gear with the factory, the speed cutter, the speed limiter cuts you off right in the middle of your dyno run. Once you hit near 100 miles an hour, you're out of luck. But with this iTunes tuner, which I'm going to show you how to do, I will show you how to turn off your top end governor. So you can go to the dyno, go to the track, and you can go over 100 miles an hour, no limiters, no governors, and your speedometer will reach its true top speed, which is well over 120 miles an hour. So, more to follow. Okay, I've unpackaged the iTunes 3. This is what you need to go to a computer and download updates. But what I'm going to do is you can download download updates from Wi-Fi. And I've got Wi-Fi hooked to this from my house. So I'm going to plug this in, get it ready, or to follow. First, you power up the iTunes 3. Diablo Sports iTunes 3. These things can be had for under, well under four hundred dollars right around there and it asks you if you agree with this little thing and you say yes and you turn your vehicle key on but do not start the engine all right now we're gonna tune vehicle please ensure the key is on which it is engine off key on hit continue Okay, we're going to go easy tune. Uh, we'll go 91 tune. We'll try that out. Performance. Here we go. Change tire size. No. Change gear ratio. No. Remove speed limiter. Oh, yes. That's how you do it. The i3 will now read a backup from the vehicle's computer. Here we go, yes, to continue. Now we wait. And I will pause this while we wait. Don't get worried when your vehicle starts showing all kinds of different lights and stuff, parking brake and all that stuff. Don't worry about that. It just does that when it's reading your PCM. So right now we're at a couple percent. I'll bring this back when we're at 90 percent. More to follow. Okay, we're almost finished. We're at 99, 100 percent. And now it's doing just a few more things. There it goes, exporting. Doing its thing. Okay, it says Octane Tune, 91 Octane Tune with speed limiter removed. Install this tune. Yes. Then it says Applied Selection Tune with Tire, Apply Selected Tune with Tire Size, Gear Ratio, and Speed Limited as selected. Okay, and now we just wait for it to do its thing. And 
here it does all these little warnings. Don't worry about that. That's just what happens when this tuner starts tuning the PCM. It'll say some little warnings and cautions and stuff like that. Some of the lights will come on. Don't worry about that. And once this thing reads in the high 90s, I'll come back and show you the rest. More to follow. Another thing, make sure you always keep, don't mess with your ignition or your key while this is running because it could mess up something. So just follow the directions on this little Diablo Sport. Things will be all right. We're in the 90s now. So we'll be really, we'll be done with this soon. Here we go, 100% finished. And make sure to follow the steps. They're very important. It's going to tell you to turn off the key and hit continue. Okay, here, let's see. Yep, see all the little lights come on? Don't worry about that. Okay, now it tells you to turn your key off. Turn key off, hit continue. Turn the key on. Hit continue. Now it's going to finalize the tune. See how it's doing that. And it's almost done. Tuning complete. You may now unplug the tuner. Continue. So what I always do is I turn off the key, pull it out, do an open the door thing so it kind of resets everything. Then I'm going to verify that everything starts nice and smooth. Here we go. Make sure all the warning lights go off besides seat belt and door because I got the hood open. And reboot the tuner. Now we've got the 91 tune on there. Looks pretty responsive. That looks pretty responsive. Not too bad. Doors and windows closed. Okay, well, I'm going to take it for a little spin. Okay, here's something else I find interesting. You look at my H, my gauge. If you look at my bank's multi-gauge reader, you can see that my intake temperature where the air filter, just after the air filter, there's a sensor there. And my intake manifold temperature is totally different. Because the uh, intake is right where the intake tube is. And the intake manifold is after the hot air is blown on the engine manifold and on the hose from the dual electric fan. So I need to find a way to fix this. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the air cleaner. And right over here on the intake, it's telling what the intake temperature is. The intake manifold temperature right on the intake manifold. The problems are this intake tube right here that goes to the throttle body, all that hot air from the fan flows on it. So in order for me to fix this intake manifold high temperature, because it is pretty hot after a 30-40 minute drive, the intake manifold gets about 110 degrees and the intake temperature is only like 70 or 8, well, 75 or 80 degrees when the temperature outside is almost 80. So, I'm going to find a way to fix that because I don't like my intake manifold getting hot even though there's a little bit I cannot fix because the heat from the turbos, the heat from the heads and the block heat rises, so it rises to the manifold, but I can do something against this 
I can do something about this intake tube right here because it's right next to the fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this heat shielding, the hood, hood heat shielding, and I'm going to cut a piece and I'm going to put it right in front of that intake tube over there and block the hot air from the fan from blowing on the intake tube. So I believe that it's going to reduce the intake manifold temperatures after a 20-30 minute drive because that's when the manifold temperature rises because the entire engine is warm from operation over 30 minutes. And intake temperature is at least 40 or 50 degrees different than the intake manifold temperature. So there's the dilemma. That's the challenge. I'm going to fix it. You can see back there is the probe that takes the temperature of the intake manifold. So it's on the back of the intake manifold where the temperature probe is. Well, I'm going to take this thing for a spin and see how the new tune is. So right now you can see I've been idling for about 10 minutes. The intake air temperature is 84 degrees. Outside temperature 67 degrees. But my intake manifold is 102 degrees even though my inlet temperature just after the air filter is 84. So 84 versus 102 on the intake manifold. So I'm going to work to solve that problem. But for now, just after I put a tune on this, the 91 octane tune, let's take it for a spin and see how we like it. More to follow. Okay, we're going to go on a night drive. Here we go.